I want to introduce the inverse tangent function. We start with the tangent function y equals tan x. And you'll notice that the tangent function is very much not one to one. So in order to be able to invert this function, we first have to restrict its domain to a portion that is one to one. So we pick the center period from negative pi over two to pi over two. And that's how we define the restricted tangent function. y equals tan x for x between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And that's just this piece of it here. Let me just trace over. This is the restricted tangent function. OK. And of course, the restricted tangent function has five key points, if you include the two asymptotes that bound it. You've got negative pi over 2, where tangent's undefined, negative pi over 4, negative 1, 0, 0, pi over 4, 1, and again, another uh, vertical asymptote at pi over 2, which is because tangent's undefined. Now, the inverse of the restricted tangent function is called y equals inverse tangent x. And it's also written y equals arctan. And I want to graph it. In order to graph it, I take the points from here, and I switch the x and y coordinates. So for example, for this point, negative pi over 4, negative 1, you get negative 1, negative pi over 4. So this point goes right about here. It's kind of hard to tell. This is, this is my negative 1. And negative pi over 4 is halfway between 0 and negative pi over 2. So right about there. And then 0, 0 is a point. And pi over 4, 1 becomes 1 pi over 4. So 1 is about here. Pi over 4 is halfway between 0 and pi over 2. So there's my 1 pi over 4. Then we draw a smooth curve. And keeping in mind that any inverse function is going to be a reflection of the original function around the line y equals x. So something like this and this. Now, I haven't yet drawn the asymptotes. But what's interesting is, you know, in this graph, I've basically interchanged all the x and y coordinates of this graph. So I also interchanged the x and y coordinates for the asymptotes. The asymptotes are originally x equals negative pi over 2, x equals pi over 2. The new asymptotes are y equals negative pi over 2 and y equals pi over 2. So let me draw those. Here's negative, well, negative pi over 2. And here's positive pi over 2. So this is sort of an interesting function, because it's, it's probably the first function we've looked at where there were actually two horizontal asymptotes. y equals pi over 2. Inverse tangent approaches that, approaches that as x approaches infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, the graph goes to y equals negative pi over 2. So this is the graph of y equals inverse tangent x or arctan x. And one more thing, the domain and range of this function, you can probably tell by looking at the graph that the domain is going to be all real numbers. So inverse tangent can take all real numbers. And the range. You're restricted to between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So it's kind of like the range of the inverse sine function, only the endpoints are not included. So you can never get pi over 2 out of the inverse tangent function or negative pi over 2. So that's the inverse tangent function.